Hello, and welcome to Painting for Piglets. Today, we're going to be reading the book, And Then It's Spring, written by Julie Fogliano and illustrated by Aaron Steed. And I'd like you to pay special attention to the illustrations, because after the story, we're going to be making our own picture of a spring scene. And then it's spring. And then it's spring. First, you have brown. All around, you have brown. Then there are seeds. And a wish for rain. And then it rains. And it is still brown, but a hopeful, very possible sort of brown. And is that a little green? No, it's just brown, sort of brown. Then it is a week. And you worry about those little seeds. And if maybe it was the birds, are they eating the seeds? Or maybe it was the bears and all that stomping because bear can't read signs that say things like, please do not stomp here. There are seeds and they are trying. And then it is one more week. And the brown, still brown, has a greenish hum that you can only hear if you put your ear to the ground and close your eyes. And then it is one more week. And a sunny day, that sunny day that happens right after that rainy day, and you walk outside to check on all that brown, but the brown isn't around. Now you have green. All around you have green. And we have a picture here of a beautiful spring day done in pencil with watercolor paint. So what you can do at home is find a piece of paper just like this and draw a scene on it with pencil, a spring scene. Then I'm gonna use watercolor paints and start coloring in my scene. I'm gonna start with some blue for the sky. I'm gonna paint around my clouds. And make it a nice blue sky. We've had a lot of rain lately, but at least in our pictures, we can make things how we'd like them to be. The more water you use, the thinner the color is. The less water, the thicker. And at home, you can do this with whatever you have on hand. You could just do a pencil drawing of your yard, or you could use watercolor paints to color it in like I am. You could use crayons, pencils, markers. All right, so now I have my blue sky on there. Then I'm gonna add some brown, brown for this tree, which is a cherry blossom tree. Right now they're blooming all over the place and they are so beautiful. And they remind me of my yard when I was a kid. We had two cherry blossom trees in the front yard. Now I'm gonna get some yellow on my brush for this bush right here. This is a forsythia bush, and right now the forsythias are in full bloom too. And again, when I was a kid, we had a forsythia bush in my yard. So you can think about things you actually have in your yard. You could go outside and do this outside, or you could just imagine in your head what you would put in your yard, or in your picture, if it could be whatever you want it to be, a, a spring scene. So here I'm just adding some quick red paint with a lot of water so it looks pretty pink to my tree to make it look like it has some blossoms on it. Next, I'm gonna take green, because now all around it's green, and I'm gonna paint in the grass. Right now in my yard, things are starting to turn green. It had been very brown. And now there's more green on the ground. And 
And last, I put in some flowers back here. I'm gonna do some green stems. And these flowers are gonna be daffodils. Use some yellow paint. And then sometimes daffodils have a little bit of an orange in the middle. And now it looks like I'm just missing one little spot of sky up here. All right, and there I have it, a spring scene. I have a cherry blossom tree, some daffodils, a forsythia bush, a nice blue sky, and lots of green grass. So now it's your turn, and now it's spring. I'd like you to go into your yard or just sit at your kitchen table and make a picture of an outdoor scene. And please share it with us at hashtag Pigs Alley Social.